All right, here uh, we're gonna walk through Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm, and then I'm gonna show you kind of why it won't work with negative edge weights. Okay, so let's walk through the uh, algorithm really quick. So given a graph, whether it's direct or undirected, we have positive edge length um, over the edges and then with these vertices, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start from some vertex S, and I'm gonna find the shortest distance to all vertices that are reachable from S. All right, so in the beginning, we're gonna initialize all my distance values for, um, for you as infinity. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Um, I'm also going to make my previous value of, um, oh, that's really annoying. Mm, okay, I'm gonna do prev, okay, there we go. So, and then I'm gonna set all my previous vertex as nil, right? So here we have infinity, 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 um, horizontal eight, nil, 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 nil. Right, it's kind of, so I'm gonna set all these distance, initialize variables. This is, everything's infinity, it's the largest it could be. Um, we don't have any previous values. Uh, we don't know, like, we haven't visited any vertices, any of the vertices yet, so we don't know what the last vertex of that shortest path is. And then we, we're gonna set the distance of S to zero, right? Because the distance to yourself, your source node, is always gonna be zero. And the previous pointer, what's gonna tell us is that it's gonna tell us the previous vertex of the shortest path from S to U, right? And so initially, this is gonna be null. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put all these vertices in the priority queue, and the priority is gonna be based on the distance values. So in other words, it's gonna be the key. And as long as there's something in this priority queue, we're gonna take the smallest element out of that priority queue, right? And for all those edges, right, for the if it's the directed graph is for all the outgoing edges. If it, it is an undirected graph, it's gonna for all the incident edges, right? So as long as this, like, so let's say this is the outgoing, the other vertex, right? So the distance of this vertex is greater than the shortest path of my current vertex plus this length, that plus this edge I'm gonna take, then I wanna update this distance. I wanna update my previous pointer. I'm gonna decrease the, value um, in my priority queue, right? Notice that I don't actually add V, I don't check whether this vertex V is in my priority queue or not. I don't add it back in if it's not in there, I just decrease key. So if it, if it is not in my priority queue, this, I don't do anything, right? So this means I only visit every vert, uh, vertex only once. And that's gonna help us in for runtime, right? Um, okay, so, Let's take a look at this graph over here. Um, so we initialize our distance value to S, we have the previous value to nil, and we're gonna put in a priority queue, right? So in this case, we have priority queue S infinity, A infinity, B, C, D, E, F, and they're all infinity. Oops, sorry. This should be set to zero, and this is zero. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna pop off S, right? And we'll look at all of its edges. Right, we're gonna look at all these edges and we're gonna make some update, right? Remember that all these distances currently are zero, infinity. Infinity, 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 and oh my goodness. Uh, okay, um, let's say infinity, right? Okay, so all these, right now, is infinity and zero. So we're gonna pop up S. Okay, we're gonna look at S's edges, we see that so it doesn't matter which one you look up, right? The, the only priority there is, is gonna be the vertex distance that we pop from the priority queue, right? I don't, I don't care which edge I look at first. Oh, anyway, let's make this. Um, hmm, I think it's one, okay, cool. So we're gonna look at A. A's current distance is infinity, but I can up, it's smaller than seven plus zero, right? So I'm gonna update this to be seven. Um, 
this becomes s, right? And then we and then we decrease key, which means I will update the key value in my priority queue. And let's not worry about how the priority queue is implemented. So next thing is we look at b. B is infinity uh, distance value of infinity. It has five and zero as a potential value, and it's better, right? So we update. This becomes s. This becomes five. This becomes five, right? Now, okay, we look at. So we finish seeing all of as edges. We and we're gonna. So this is out of my priority queue. I'm gonna take a look at the next value. So we look at the smallest value here. It's gonna be five. Take it out of my priority queue. I look at b's edges. We have six, d here. D is infinity. What we could do is take six plus um, five. It's eleven. It's better. So this becomes eleven. This becomes a pre value of b. And now this becomes eleven. Um, we look at a. Okay. Okay. So a here has a priority of six. Um, has a current distance of seven. It is less than b. Distance of b, which is five, plus the edge here is one. So now this becomes six. This becomes six. This becomes six, and we update the shortest path here to be b. Right. I've seen all of, uh, b's edges. I pop up the next value, which is a, at six. Um, I have now have so I saw this edge already, right? Well, actually, it's undirected, so I'm still have to look at it. But um, this is one. This is five, right? So. So that sure is gonna work, even though like the shortest path of SBA is not gonna be like oh SBAB, right? Because all these edge rates are positive, I don't want to take this positive edge twice. So six plus one is less. So I ignore this one. Look at here. C currently has a distance of infinity. It's better here at seven. So this is gonna be seven, right? Seven. Update to seven. Um, this is gonna be A. Okay, that's all I have. Um, for this guy over here. And now I look at, okay, the next thing I'm gonna pop off is gonna be um, two. Okay, oh, I don't pop off anything. Um, I still have one more edge, which is this edge here, two infinity. I add it to eight. It's better value. A, I update to be eight. Okay, A, I've seen all three of the edges. I remove, right, pop off next value as C. C has one value here, um, one edge here, which is D. Okay. Currently, C has a distance of seven. Plus one gives me eight, which is better than what I could do, what I originally had of this path of SBD is 11. So update to seven. Oh, sorry, eight. Update this as eight. Update previous as C. Update this as eight. Okay. Um, C has one more edge of E. Um, e seven ten ten is greater than eight. We do nothing here. I don't. Doesn't matter. Let's pop up D next. Um, arbitrary, which break, tie breaking doesn't matter. Okay. Um, D has no. Oh, okay. D has an edge going back to C, which is one plus seven. Right. It's gonna be one plus eight to be nine. It's greater. We don't do anything. We have eight plus six, which is greater than five. We don't do anything. So we stop. We pop off the next. Value as e. Um, e gets popped off. We have an edge to two. Six plus two is gonna be eight. We don't do anything, right? It's the same shortest path. We don't make any updates. There's no point. Um, I mean, yeah, we don't make any updates to a. Sorry, yeah, we don't make any updates to a because six plus six is smaller than two plus eight. We don't make any updates to c because three plus eight is gonna be greater than seven. And then finally, we have f. We see that eight plus four is better than infinity. We have twelve. This gives me twelve. This gives me e, and this gives me twelve. No more edges. I pop up f. Edge is four. Four plus twelve is greater than eight. We don't do anything. Now we stop. Right. So now we have the shortest path from s to every other vertex in my graph, and. Right, so we have the distance values here. We also have the distance values here. And if I want to find find the actual shortest path, I can just let's say I want to go from F, right? F shortest path previous is E. The other shortest path, E shortest path, previous value is going to be A. So we have F, E, A. A shortest path is B, 
and S. So reverse the other direction. This is my shortest path between F and S, right? Using the previous pointers. Okay. So why doesn't this work for a let's say negative edge weights, right? So notice that in Dijkstra, what we, what we have done was I when I update edge weight, I don't. I only decrease the key, right? I don't necessarily put this vertex back in because I don't want that um, massive runtime. Because right now, the runtime is going to be e plus v of log v, right? I walk through the, um, the entire graph once, right? I walk through every vertex and every edge once. And for every one of those, um, for every one of those components, I do some I do some priority queue, right? So let's say we use a binary heap, I do some priority queue operation. I remove log v, I decrease the key, log v, right? That's fine. So here's my runtime. So that's why I don't want to update, I don't want to put a vertex back into my priority queue if I've seen it, if I popped it off already, right? It's gone. So here's a problem. Let's say I have s, a, b, and c. I have a negative 5 here. I have a 1, 3, OK. And let's have a 2, right? <clears throat> OK, so the first thing that I'm just going to do is going to, OK, I'm going to look, I'm going to update these two distance values to be 2 and 3, respectively. It's fine. And now I'm going to pop up B because B has the smallest distance value in my party queue of A and B. I now update C to be distance of 3 because it was initially infinity, right? It's okay. That's fine. I'm done, right? Now, let's say I pop up C. C has no more edges. That's fine. We don't do anything. Now, let's make these directed, which would be easier, right? C has no more edges. We don't do anything. So only other vertex in my party queue is going to be A. A, we look at. Let's see. We look at the edge U V, right? We look at edge A and B. We see that B, the distance of B value is two, but it could be a negative two, right? So let's update this to be negative two. And then we decrease key, right? We don't put B back in my priority queue. It's no longer in my priority queue. I decrease key. Nothing's ha nothing happens to, to my empty priority queue because it does not exist. B is not in there. So we stop. And here's my shortest distance. But this doesn't work because S can go this way to C, right? Now that I've updated the distance of B, I can't update C again because I already, I already visited B before I made this negative path thing here. And so this actually won't work with negative edge weights. And the reason it works with only positive, neg uh, positive edge weights is because it's a greedy solution, right? Think of it, I have this current subgraph that I have edge shortest path to. And the next thing I do is, okay, I have these vertices I have not seen yet, and I have some distance to them, right? Or suppose I've not seen them before. So what you do is that if I've seen this vertex before, I take this vertex out and I update the shortest path here. But I've not seen it before. I'm essentially taking this like, this is going to be the sh um, shortest distance to my vertex S here, this vertex. And I make this update based on this vertex. But I'll never make this update based on the distance values of this vertex ever again because I've seen it already. So I now expand outwards. For every edge, I expand out and I keep going until I have um, the shortest path. And so I've seen every vertex exactly once, right? I popped up every vertex once for my priority queue. And I stop. I don't make any updates again. I don't look at it again, right? So for, uh, to, for shortest path to work with negative edge weights, we want to use the Bellman Ford algorithm, which will be in the next video or, yeah, some video in this channel.